So my goal for today is to... Hi, duckies. Do you ever, like, worry yourself sick about something? You know, you worry so hard about something that you literally become physically ill. You know, that feeling like, you know, you're stressing so hard about something that you get a stomach ache. And maybe you stress about something for so long that you get a stomach ulcer, you know. Um, so that's pretty much been my life since I was 10 years old. Um, it started with stomach ulcers, you know, and kind of worked its way through my digestive system over the years. Um, you know, from ulcers to acid reflux to irritable bowels to inflamed bowels to bleeding bowels and you know it's, it's all it's all over the place <laughs> and you know it took me a really long time to actually recognize that that connection that literally I have been stressing myself to death You know, I talked, I talked with my doctor about this and I said, I asked, like, is it, is it unreasonable to, you know, to think that possibly all of the, the health problems that I'm having right now is because I'm under a ridiculous amount of stress and, and I'm having a hard time, uh, you know, Just unloading that stress and and uh, turning off the the fight or flight um, switch you know it's it's been stuck on for so long it's like my my brain has forgotten how to how to turn it off like I'm not even talking about just the digestive issues like in one of my previous videos, I talked about how I had gotten healthy before I got healthy um, back in 2014. Um, you know, I just started paying really extra good attention to uh, to my diet and exercise and sleep and everything like that, and and I did it. I, I got healthy, and my gut stopped hurting, and I I wasn't really having the all of the symptoms from the endometriosis and you know I I, uh, I was actually able to sleep that's a big thing too um, but even like I even got to the point where I didn't have to take thyroid medication anymore like my thyroid had actually uh, regulated itself I was you know I was at an optimum weight and I wasn't stressed out I had nothing to stress about I had um, a secure job I had a place to live you know, I had a garden, actually, my very first garden in, in a number of years, and I was doing really good. Like, I felt really good. So, um, I mean, that's that's what I want to get back to. Um, that's that's my goal, is, is just to, at least I have that example. Like, I'm glad that I went through that and that I did all that for myself so that I could, that I, I have an example for myself of what it feels like. Like, I have days that I can remember that I wasn't in pain all day long or you know that I wasn't suffering and I just realized like man you know being homeless unintentionally yeah that really messed me up um, I mean I kind of came here expecting that to happen at some point or another because the, the housing market here is so turbulent but I just, I wasn't prepared in that moment, and I had already, um, you know, suffered a huge blow emotionally very recently before that, so I was just in a bad place, and I thought that once I had a place to live, um, I would stop stressing so much, you know, and, and start to feel better, um, but that didn't happen because the entire time that I was living here, this place was under threat of being taken, so I spent four more years stressing while trying to get healthy, you know, eating better and exercising and all that and, you know, had a good physically active job and everything, but stressed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I realized that I've been squishing a water bottle this whole time while I was talking because 
I was holding on to it and I've been really stressed out today. Oh, surprise. Um, but I mean, for real though, like actually the past couple weeks I have been a lot less stressed out than I have been the four years previous. Um, <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not, I'm glad that I'm going to have a place to live and I know I'm going to have a place to live, but I've also been, um, I've been off work for, um, for nine months and it's getting to the point where either like I have to go back to work or I'm not going back to work for a very long time. And, um, that's, that's yet to be decided, um, you know, by my doctor and the insurance company. So, um, <laughs> Uh, so that's been stressing me out, and I just like uh, it, I I'm very bothered by the fact that I um, that I've had nine months that I intended to you know to heal and to get better and to stay home and actually do good things for myself, and I spent the whole time stressing out about all of this. Like why 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 do I have to stress about everything? I just like ah man, I drive myself crazy. Like honestly, it's it's horrible so but the thing is though is I've had I've had nine months to observe like I have at least one more month left um, where I can kind of gather myself you know and and hopefully um, get a big head start on on feeling better um, Like how, what I've noticed, you know, in the time that I've had to observe myself and all of this stress is that, you know, like maybe there, there is some things that I can do for myself, like immediately, um, to kind of just tell it to bugger off, you know, like, <laughs> um, you know, the whole, like, focusing on your breath and, you know, being, being aware of your breath and breathing deeply, like there's definitely something behind that. Um, something that I want to, uh, learn more about. So I've, I've recently kind of figured out how to uh, breathe my way out of a panic attack. And that's like a huge breakthrough for me because, uh, panic attacks, I mean, it's not always easy to tell that from the outside that I'm having one, but on the inside, like I am on fire. My insides are on fire. Like I can't, I can't focus. I'm just like, my guts are clenching and I figured out how to like sort of mentally send a deep breath into, into my guts when that starts to happen. And you know, it starts to help almost right away. I just have to remember to actually do that for myself. And that's like just a small example of like stress management that I want to expand over <laughs> like the rest of this, uh, the rest of my, you know, my life. So like I was able to see what, what kind of things really do stress me out, what kind of things um, bother me more than others. Like I feel like you know, because I've been stuck in stress mode for, for so long that it's, you know, I don't even notice, like, I don't even notice what really, really bothers me because everything bothers me. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't, I don't like feeling like that. So, um, so I don't, I guess the nine months wasn't a waste essentially. Like I did, I did learn a bunch of things. I just wish that I would have learned them a little bit quicker, but it is what it is. And I'm glad that I had this time. I'm very thankful that I've had this time and I don't want to seem like, you know, ungrateful <laughs> because I, I feel like I wasted it, but I didn't really, that's just me, you know, stressing about it. <laughs> like I shouldn't. Um, yeah, but like other, other things that I've noticed is like, um, like inflammation in general, like it's, it's not just in my guts. Like if I'm, if I'm extremely stressed or I eat something that I know stresses out my digestive system um like i feel it in my joints i feel it in my hips um like i feel like um, i have worse symptoms of endo um during times that i'm under immense immense amounts of stress 
Um, for instance, this is going to be a too much information kind of thing, so plug your ears if you don't want to hear it. But like, um, I just uh, my period just started, and yesterday. And I mean, yeah, I, st I still had the symptoms like, you know, I still had the intense pain and the swelling and, and the bloating and, you know, not being able to really move comfortably for a few hours and spending pretty much 24 hours straight over the over the toilet. But that being said, it was like, I would say probably half as intense as like the 10 periods before that one, you know, and that that's amazing like it's been it's been since May that I stopped taking the anti-inflammatories because I can't take them anymore because that's kind of how I, I ruined a couple other organs um, but anyways like I'm finally starting to figure out how to how to manage that a little bit and that's what I want to hang on to and that's what I want to work on because I feel like you know once I can stop the stress from taking over and and doing all this damage while I'm trying to heal if I can if I can stop that extra damage from happening then I'm gonna heal a lot quicker and feel a lot better um, more sustainably uh, than the last time I was able to get healthy you know yeah so stress kills ah it's killing me I gotta stop that Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it really, really helps me out to have like, you know, an audience because if I was just doing this by myself, I'd probably give up. <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't have any willpower. I'm just saying that I have a lot more willpower when, when somebody else is, uh, is tuning in, you know? Uh, so thank you for watching and, and subscribing and doing the like thing and like leaving me comments and stuff. I like that stuff. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. Yes. Hello. Hello. Hi, Batman. Hey, you guys have been mighty talkative today, huh? Yeah, especially you, Batman. My squeaky girl. <laughs> you guys enjoying the rain? Hmm? Do you love the weather? <laughs> My therapy ducks.